Hi mga kawang mat, in this video we will discuss the introduction to linear equation. So in this video, we will differentiate the, um, the concept or idea of an expression and an ex uh, equation. Okay? So we're done discussing expressions, algebraic expressions. Now, we will compare and differentiate expression from equation. Okay, so let's start. So I want you to look at this given. So I have here column A and column B. So I want you to group this two into two columns. So uh, ano ba sa tingin niyo yung magkakasama at alin ang magkakasama sa column B? So tingnan lang natin. Let us recall the concepts of um, expression. And then tsaka natin ipapasok si equation. Okay, so kailangan alam po muna natin ang difference ng expression at equation. Okay, so you try. Okay, so we have, for column A, so ito po yung mga magkakasama. So tingnan mabuti, tingnan ninyo ano ba ang common sa kanila. Okay, and then for column B, I have here. Okay, I have here 2x plus 5, 10, 3y, 15, 4a plus 5, 5a plus 3. Okay, so I want you to look and observe our um, examples sa column A and column B. So, ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba nitong dalawang to? So, yung nasa column A natin, itong green colored, these are all expressions. Alright? So, these are all expressions. And itong nasa right natin, these are all equations. So, what is the difference between expression and equation? Paano ba natin malalaman na this is just an expression and this is already an equation? Okay? So, paano ba natin siya malalaman? Now, when we say expression, this is just a phrase. Okay? Pag sinabing phrase, Kumbaga sa English, kapag sentence, hindi buo yung pangungusap. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin phrase, kulang. Kulang yung thought. Okay? Now, pag sinabi natin equation, this is already a sentence. Buo na siya. Buo yung idea. Okay? So, again, pag sinabi natin expression, this is just a phrase. Okay? Phrases lang siya. While equations are already sentences. Okay, so expression is to a phrase and equation is to a sentence. Okay, ma'am, paano po namin malalaman na equation na po siya, na naka-sentence siya? Okay, kapag meron na po tayong equal sign. Okay, so kapag nakita po natin na meron po tayong equal sign, so that is already an equation. Alright? So, sige nga, discuss natin. Ano nga ba ang equation? It states that two expressions are equal. So, sinasabi nito na paano natin malalaman na equation sila kapag meron kang dalawang expressions na equal. Okay? So, halimbawa po, meron ako dito 2x plus 5. This is an expression, right? So, ayan, kinuha ko siya dito. Meron ako kumuha ako ng 10. So, this is also an expression. Okay? Expression lang sila kasi wala tong equal sign. Wala rin tong equal sign. Pero, itong dalawang expression na to, pag pinakita natin na equal sila, okay, this will become an equation. Alright. So, tatandaan po na kapag sinabi nating equation, binubuo ito ng dalawang expressions na kung saan sila po ay equal. Okay? So, uh, lagi lang iisipin na ang equation ay binubuo ng dalawang expressions na equal. Kaya ito, these are all expressions. Pag yan, meron tayong dalawang expressions at uh, pinakita mong equal sila, that will become an equation. So, magiging 2x plus 5 is equal to 10 na siya, right? So, this is already an equation. Okay, so again, an equation states that two expressions are equal. So, what are the parts of an equation? So, meron, syempre, meron tayong mga parts dyan. Ito po, yung 2x plus 5, 
this is the left side of the equation. So, ito yung first expression mo kanina. So, this is the left side of the equation. So, we have three parts eh. We have three parts of the equation. So, the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. And of course, para maging equation sila, para makonsider natin sila as equation, there must be an equal sign. Kailangan ipakita natin that these two expressions are equal. So, dapat uh, equal itong dalawang to. Okay? Para maging equation siya. Okay, so sana naintindihan. Okay, so let's proceed to the solution of the equation. Ano nga ba itong tinatawag nating solution of the equation? So, equations in one variable are considered open sentences. Okay? The values of the variable that results in a true statement are called solutions or roots of the equations. So, ano nga ba itong solutions na tinatawag natin or roots? Okay, so ito ang aalamin natin. So, let's have an example. Determine if the given values of x are solutions to the equation. So, I have here 4x minus 6 is equal to 10. So, we will try to solve x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 4 to the given equation. So, I have here 4x minus 6 is equal to 10. So, this is an equation kasi meron tayong left side of the equation, right side of the equation, and the equal sign. So, this is considered an equation. Okay? So, 4x minus 6 is equal to 10 is an equation. Now, paano natin kukunin ang solution? So, meron tayo ditong values na given. So, kapag given yung values of x, halimbawa, binigay, binigay yung values of x, um, ibig sabihin nun, itatry mo siyang isolve. Hahanapin mo kung alin dun ang solution. Okay? So, ang binigay sa atin ay x is equal to 3, x is equal to 4. So, pag may nagtanong sa comment section na, ma'am, saan po nakuha si x is equal to 3 at x is equal to 4? Given siya. Kung baga, ito yung itatry nating isolve para ma-check natin kung itong si 3 o si 4, alin dito ang solution. Okay? So, binibigyan tayo ng iba't ibang given and then isosolve natin siya. So, let's try x is equal to 3. Now, for x is equal to 3, so, first step, copy your given, of course. So, 4x minus 6 is equal to 10. Now, from here, yung x natin, since ang given nga po natin dito ay x is equal to 3, so, itong x po ay papalitan natin ng 3. Okay. So, I have here 4 times 3. This is 12. So, 12 minus 6. Okay. Equals 10. Now, 12 minus 6. So, this is 6. So, as you can see, I have here... A resulting statement which is 6 is equal to 10 which is considered false. Why? Kasi 6 is not equal to 10. Okay? Now, let's try x is equal to 4. So, first step, copy your given. Substitute the values of x so which is 4. Now, 4 times 4, this is 16. 16 minus 6, this is 10. Okay, so I have here 10 is equal to 10 and this is a true statement because 10 is equal to 10. Now, given the solution, so I have here sinolved natin si 3, sinolved natin si 4. So, what do you think is the solution? Therefore, 4 is a solution to the equation but 3 is not. Okay. So, kapag binibigyan po tayo ng ganiting equation at pinapahanap sa atin or pinapa-verify which one is the solution, isa-substitute po natin siya pareho. Okay? Para malaman natin kung alin dito ang solution. Kapag nag-false, ibig sabihin hindi yun ang solution. Pag nag-true, that is the solution. So, 4 is the solution of 4x minus 6 equals 10. So, ito po yung tinatawag nating solution or root. Let's have another. So, I have here 3 times the quantity of x plus 2 is equal to 5x plus 6. So, we will determine which one is the solution. So, I have here x is equal to 0, negative 1, and positive 1. So, itry natin si 0. So, ilalagay natin si 0 dito sa mga x natin. Ito po. So, since dalawa po yung x mo dito, dalawa po yung ilalagay natin dyan. 
Okay? So, now, kapag ganito po, unahin po natin yung nasa parenthesis. So, that is 0 plus 2, that is 2. So, 3 times 2 na siya. Equals 5 times 0, that is 0, plus 6. Okay? So, 3 times 2, this is 6. Sa right side natin, 0 plus 6, this is also 6. Okay? So, this is a true statement. Okay, let's proceed. Ma'am, nakuha ko na po yung ano, yung sagot. Try ko pa ba yung iba? Pwede mo siyang itry pa para ma-check mo, ma-double check mo. Mamaya, meron pang ibang solution. Okay, or mamaya, may lumabas dito na true pa. So, iti-check mo ngayon to tama ba yung solution ko dito? So, maganda na itry po natin lahat. Or kung confident ka naman na tama ang solution mo, Pwede rin naman na hindi mo nasubukan yung iba. Okay. So, I have here, x is equal to negative 1. So, substitute natin si negative 1 dito, ganun din po sa isang x. So, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng ating parenthesis, negative 1 plus 2. This will become positive 1. So, 3 times 1 na siya. Equals 5 times negative 1, that is negative 5. Okay? Kasi different signs yan. So, we have 3 times 1, that is 3. And then, negative 5 plus 6, this is positive 1. So, as you can see, 3 is equal to 1. This results in a false statement. Okay. So, let's try x is equal to 1. So, substitute natin si 1. Pareho. So, 1 plus 2, that is 3. So, 3 times 3 na po siya. And then, 5 plus 1, that is 5 plus 6. So, this is 3 times 3. 9, and then 5 plus 6, this is 11. And as you can see, 9 is equal to 11, this is false. Okay. So, therefore, 0 is a solution to the equation of 3 times the quantity of x plus 2 is equal to 5x plus 6. But 1 and negative 1 are not. So, ito po, since ito po ang nag -true, therefore, 0 is the solution. Negative 1 and 1 Hindi po sila solution. Okay? Next. What if ang equation po natin ay merong exponent? Okay? So, ilang solutions kaya ang lalabas kapag ang expression, I, I mean, ang equation natin ay merong exponent? Okay? So, ito pong uh, given natin na x squared minus 1 is equal to 3. This is also an equation. Yun nga lang, hindi po siya linear. Okay? But let me show you an, another example of an equation na kung saan hindi lang isa ang lalabas na solution. Okay? So, itry natin si 2, si negative 2, si positive 3. So, for x is equal to 3, okay, I, I mean this, it should be 2. Alright, so I have here x is equal to 2. So, ito po ay 2. Okay, kasi yun yung given natin dito. So, substitute natin si 2. So, we have 2. Ito po siya. Okay, so 2 squared, unahin po natin yung may exponent. So, 2 squared is means 2 times 2. Okay, so that is 4. So, 4 minus 1, so that is 3. Okay, so 3 is equal to 3. So, this is true. Okay, let's try negative 2. So, for negative 2, ang isa substitute naman natin ay negative 2, of course. And then, negative 2 times negative 2, ibig sabihin, squared ito, dalawang negative 2. So, negative 2 times negative 2, that will become positive 4 pa rin. So, 4 minus 1, that is also 3. So, this is also true. Okay, now let's try 3. So, substitute natin dito si 3. So, that is 3 squared. So, that is 9. 9 minus 1 is equal to 3. This is 8 is equal to 3. So, this is false. Now, the values 2 and negative 2 are solutions or roots of the equation. But, 3 is not. So, since uh, lumabas dito na parehong true, ibig sabihin, si 2 at si negative 2 ay solution, pero si 3 hindi. So, Ibig sabihin, dito papasok yung concept ng solution set. Ang solution set kasi, kaya siya tinawag na set. Kasi ibig sabihin, hindi lang isa. Okay? So, the solution set of the equation x squared minus 1 is equal to 3 is 
Ito po siya. Tingnan nyo po kung paano siya sinusulat. Is 2, negative 2. Kasi dalawa po yung sagot natin. So, ang tawag po na po sa kanya is solution set. Hindi na solution. Pag solution, isa lang. Okay? So, solution set, ibig sabihin, hindi lang po isa ang sagot. Hindi lang po isa ang solution. So, when we say solution set, uh, ito po yung set of values. Set of values. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang po isa ang solution natin. So, possible po pala na meron tayong dalawang solution sa equation? Yes. Kapag po, lalo na kapag meron po tayong exponent. Okay? Pero kung yan ay wala pong exponent, linear lang po siya. So, ang linear, i-discuss natin yan sa, sa susunod. Okay? So, ito po ang kapag linear lang siya, yun, isa lang po ang solutions nun. Okay? So, let's have this. Two equations having the same solutions are called equivalent equations. Meron din po tayong tinatawag na equivalent equations. Ano nga ba ito? Ito yung kapag ang solution nila ay pareho, I mean, si 2x minus 5 equals 1 ay kapareho sa solution ni 4x equals 12, then these two are equivalent equations. Okay, so let's try. Mag-try tayo ng pwede nating i-substitute. Try natin si 2. Okay? So, 2 times 2, that is 4 minus 5 is equal to 1. So, that is negative 1 is equal to 1. So, this is false. So, syempre, it, yun din ang ilalagay natin. So, this is 2, 8. So, 4 times 2, this is 8. Substitute natin si 2. So, 8 is equal to 12. This is also false. Okay? So, nag-try lang tayo, no? Random lang. So, since lumabas na false, ibig sabihin, hindi yan ang solutions nila. So, kailangan hanapin natin yung uh, solution na mag agree o mag true sa kanilang dalawa. So, let's try 3. Okay, try natin si 3. 2 times 3, that is 6, minus 5, so that is 1. 1 is equal to 1, this is true. And then, 4x is equal to 12, this is 3 ulit. So, 4 times 3, that is 12, is equal to 12. So, this is true. Now, so, since nakita natin na true sila pareho, ibig sabihin, meron silang parehong solution. So, we can consider these two as equivalent equations. Now, halimbawa, ma'am, nag-true dito, tapos dito false. Ibig sabihin, hindi yun ang solution. Hindi yun ang Uh, I mean, ibig sabihin, hindi sila equivalent equations. Kasi kung nag-true na dito, ibig sabihin, yun ang solution niya. Kaya kapag tinry mo si 3 dito sa kabila at nag-false, ibig sabihin, hindi 3 ang solution niya. Halimbawa lang yun, ha? So, halimbawa, nag-substitute ka dito ng 3 at nag-true. So, dito naman, nag-substitute ka ng 3, tapos lumabas false. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila equivalent equations. Okay? Kasi dapat, kung nag-true dito sa 3, dapat mag-true din dito sa kabila. Kung 3 ang isa substitute mo. Okay. So, since parehong true ang lumabas, therefore, that the equations are equivalent since their solutions are the same. Pa since pareho silang 3, si 2x minus 5 is equal to 1, and 4x is equal to 12 are equivalent equations. Okay. So, ano nga ba ang linear equation? So, our linear equation is a first degree equation. Ito yung isa pang tawag sa kanya. Pag sinabi natin, um, first degree equation, ibig sabihin linear equation. Okay? This is in the form of ax plus b is equal to 0, where a and b are real numbers, and your a should not be equal to 0. Hindi dapat ito mag-equal to 0. Okay? Now, kasi pag nag-0 yan, mawawala na po ito, hindi na siya linear. Okay, so where <coughs> A is and B are real numbers and A should not be equal to zero. Now, a statement in which two expressions at this one containing the variable are equal. So, ito po yung tinatawag nating linear equation. Okay, so kanina, diniscuss lang po natin yung equation lang mismo. Okay, so marami kasi tayong klase ng equation. Merong linear, quadratic, marami po tayo niyan. Now, focus tayo sa linear equation na. Okay? So, a statement in which two expressions, kagaya na pinakita ko kanina, dapat equal sila. Okay? So, given these examples, sige nga po, 
Pag sinabi kasi nating linear, so sabi ko nga, first degree equation. So, dapat, ang highest power mo lang dyan, ang highest power, pag sinabing highest power, yung pinakamataas na degree mo ay 1. Okay. So, dapat wala tayong makikitang exponent dyan na 2 pataas. Okay? So, yun, ganun lang kasimple. Pag sinabing linear, pag sinabing linear, dapat ang highest power o degree po natin dito ay 1. So, kagaya po nito, 1 po ito. So, this is linear. Okay? Kapag yan may nakita ka ng exponent, 2, 3, hindi na po siya linear. Okay? So, dapat 1 po. 1. Okay, now. So, I have here sets of um, equations. So, these are all equations. Okay? Yun nga lang, hindi lahat linear. Okay, so again ha, these are all equations. Kasi may mga equal signs sila o, oh, so equations yan. Yun nga lang po, hindi po lahat ay linear. So, alin nga ba dito ang linear equation? Sige, isa-isayin natin. So, titingnan po natin yung degree o yung highest power. Kapag 1 po ang highest power nila, that is linear. So, ito 1 po ang highest power. So, this is linear equation. Next, number 2. This is an equation but it's not it is not linear kasi ang highest power niya ay 2. Okay? Ganon din po ito. So this is not a linear equation. Number 4, this is linear equation. Number 5, this is not y. Kasi ito po ay maging x is equal to raised to 1 half. Okay? So ang 1 half is a fraction. Tama? Eh, dapat, di ba, ang highest power natin ay 1. Okay, so, ito po ay magiging 1 half. So, x raised to 1 half plus 4 is equal to 7. That's why it's not linear. Okay? Equation siya, but not linear. Okay. Next. So, this is linear equation. This is also linear equation, and this is also a linear equation. So, tatandaan lang po na kapag linear equation, dapat ang highest degree ay 1. Wala na pong mas mataas pa doon. Ito, 2. Okay? Ito, 1 half. So, hindi rin pwede ang 1 half. Okay? Now, dito sa mga linear equations na to, meron tayong dalawang klase ng linear equation. Okay? Meron dito yung Linear equations in one variable and linear equations in two variables. Okay. So, ito po yung linear equation in one variable. Paano ba natin malalaman na linear equation in one variable siya? Dapat, isa lang yung variable. So, kapag nakita mo dito, ano ang variable dito? X, isa lang. Ano ang variable dito? Y. Okay. Yung iba iisipin, two variable siya. No. Pag sinabi nating two variables, magkaibang variable. Okay? Kasi dito, pag tinanong ka, ano ang variable dito? Y. Wala namang iba. So, this is also linear equation in one variable. Okay? And then this one, this is also linear equation in one variable. Now, these two are examples of linear equations in two variables. Kasi may X, may Y, may A, may B. Okay? So, yun po ang pagkakaiba. So, uh, dapat alam po natin yung linear equation, kung linear equation ba siya in one variable or in two variables. But in grade 7, ang focus po natin is linear equation in one variable. So, ito po ay i-discuss po natin sa mga susunod na tutorials. Okay? So, test yourself. Determine if the given mathematical sentence is a linear equation or not. So, tingnan po natin ang highest degree. Dapat, ang highest degree po natin ay 1. So, number 1, I'm giving you, sige, uh, 30 seconds. Or, you may pause the video kung hindi enough yung time. Okay, so, what are the answers? We have linear equation, linear equation, not. Linear equation, not. Okay. Next. So, fill in the blanks. Complete each statement with the missing word or phrase in each blank. Number one, a sentence. I'm giving you 30 seconds. So, read each statement carefully and comply the missing word or phrase. So, let us answer. So, a sentence which states that two expressions are... Ano dapat ang equation natin? Ano dapat yung two expressions natin para maging equation? Dapat ano sila? Equal. Next, 
An expression is to a, ano ang expression? Phrase. While, nagiging sentence siya kapag equation. Next. The value of the variable that makes the equation true. So, ano yung um, tawag natin dun sa nagiging true siya? Okay, anong tawag natin dun? Kapag nag-solve tayo, tapos ang lumabas ay true. That is a solution. So, two expressions with the same solution are said to be, kapag pareho ang solution ng dalawang equation mo, anong tawag sa kanila? Equivalent. And the last one, the blank is the set of values. Ito yung kapag hindi lang po isa. Okay? Kapag hindi lang po isa ang solution, ano na pong tawag natin doon? Solution set. Okay. So, I want you to share your score below. So, if you got 10, congratulations.